In this video, Kevin and I are gonna be making a, a peanut butter roll dipped in milk chocolate, white chocolate, and some are gonna have mixed nuts. So Kevin has previously uh, done a YouTube video about making a peanut butter roll, so if you've seen this video, you can skip forward, or if you know how to make your own peanut butter roll, you can skip forward into the video where we're adding the uh, chocolate to the, the top, uh, because we've never made it this way before. So right now, um, he's gonna show you how to make his peanut butter roll. Uh, so for the peanut butter roll, what you need is peanut butter. Um, you can use creamy or uh, crunchy. There's no set amount. It's just whatever, however make, how big you make it, we'll spread it on. You'll see that in a later, um, on, in this video. Um, you need half a stick of butter. It needs to be softened. I, I just stick it in the microwave for 15 seconds. It's fine. Um, you need three ounces of cream cheese. Um, that should also be softened or room temperature. And you need one pound of powdered sugar. And that usually works out perfect if you have half stick, three ounces, one pound, usually works perfect. So what you wanna do is get a mixer of some kind, whether it's a hand mixer, stand mixer, or whatever kind of mixer you got. And we're gonna mix our butter and our cream cheese together. And you wanna cream it. So you wanna get it mixed together really good to where it's very creamy and soft. creamed and so I'm going to start adding spoonfuls of this powdered sugar to this um, I just get a big spoon and just slowly add it in there because if you add it all at once first of all first of all it makes a big poof of dust and then second of all it um, it doesn't mix in well so I'm mixed up and you see it it literally took the whole uh, pound of powdered uh, powdered sugar I was gonna say powdered milk it's like I don't know why that came to my mind powdered milk uh, but it shouldn't be basically it shouldn't be sticky so I'm basically gonna just make this into a, a ball kind of a well uh, a line or whatever I'm just gonna flatten it out and I usually just use my hands um, if you have a rolling pin you can use a rolling pin that's fine too but kind of start in the middle and you're going to make kind of a, a, a rectangle out of it. You don't want it really, really wide, but you don't want it really narrow either. And you don't want it thick. Um, I would think probably uh, maybe a fourth of an inch thick is going to give you a good thickness for it. Like it's about the size of a piece of paper maybe a little bit bigger maybe a legal size piece of paper and that's it so now i'm going to do uh, think about how you're going to roll it so i'm going to usually roll from my from myself out so the very end over here i'm going to leave with no peanut butter the rest of it i'm just going to spread a thin layer of peanut butter on and go all the way up to the edge on the sides You could have uh, you could have done it wider and thinner, and I've seen that I've done that before myself. And that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna take this how I roll it. Take this part and like you gotta really get it started uh, a, a pretty hard fold, and then from there you're just gonna roll it up. And I leave it in the parchment paper. If you have wax paper, you can leave it in, and you can do this wax paper as well. And once it's in this, I'm going to, um, normally I would stick it in the refrigerator and um, just let it sit in the refrigerator and uh, cool off enough for me to be able to slice it. Since we're gonna dip it, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the freezer to where it freezes pretty hard because you don't want it to be all dip droopy and falling apart when you're dipping in your chocolates or your chocolates and stuff so i'm gonna put it in the freezer for about half half an hour 45 minutes an hour something like that and we'll come back 
Okay, this has been in the freezer for what? About 45 minutes, an hour, or something like that. And is it frozen nice? Okay. Yeah. So what we did was we got out a cookie sheet and a piece of parchment paper because Kevin is going to slice this, but then we're gonna melt our chocolate. We're gonna melt one at a time. So first we'll do like the white chocolate and then we'll do the milk chocolate. I'll tell you what, and I'm gonna freeze this thing from now on. Cause it cuts so nice? Oh yeah, this is nice. I figured it would. And uh, then we'll put it on the parchment paper and stick it in the refrigerator for maybe 10 minutes and let it uh, completely dry the chocolate and then we'll give it a try. Yeah, that's nice. Usually I'm swishing it and, you know, fighting with it and it's sticky and get peanut butter everywhere. And, yeah, this is nice. Yep, start to break out a little bit. That makes a lot more pieces than I thought it did. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, what you do with the end pieces, eat it. Ah, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna open uh, one bag. So I think we should do like half a bag. And like I said, we're gonna uh, do, one, we're gonna melt one at a time, just so that one doesn't harden while we're working with the other one. Of course I didn't cut it off. <laughs> and some of them we're gonna put mixed nuts on there and some of them we won't just to try the different uh, flavors with them. Um, that's a little over half a bag, man. Okay. I think it's gotta be deep enough to dip it in. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm so gonna melt it. We're it's gonna 45 melt 45 seconds, stir it, and then 15 seconds until it, each time until just keep doing the same thing until it's smooth. So this is how the milk chocolate looks, and we're gonna just dip it. Um, Get to where we got some rings, there we go. Ah, uh, there's your rings right there. Not that it matters. And we just want to cover it. And then we're gonna put it on the paper. And like I said, some of them I'm gonna put um, some nets on and some of them I won't. And honestly, when I first uh, thought about doing this, I thought about just dipping like half of it. So like you could see half of it, you know, and not coating it completely. Yeah, um, easier to do it that one. I think you should. I think you should try to do just half and, um, and then leave the other half uncovered. I just think it would be prettier. That way you can still tell that it is um, peanut yeah, butter roll. I don't know if it's gonna work or not because it wants to collapse. Oh, yeah. does it? Okay. But the reason why we even thought about doing this is because Joshua sent us some Esther Price chocolates from Ohio. Esther Price is an Ohio company, and we did a review of their chocolates, and one of their chocolates tasted like peanut butter roll with coated in chocolate. And I mean, it was just absolutely fantastic. And it's like, why haven't we ever done that before? Because is if peanut butter roll doesn't have enough calories already, you know, why not uh, dip it in milk chocolate or white chocolate and uh, just add more to it. So I'm hoping this will work. We're gonna see um, that, well, the reason we're putting it on parchment paper is just so that we can, like I said, we can put it back in um, either the refrigerator or the freezer. I might even put it back in the freezer and, um, see if it sets up really well and then see how it tastes i do like doing half of it though that way you can still tell that it's peanut butter roll but now these pieces are are pretty as well so kevin's just carefully dipping it and that was plenty of chocolate to too break. because we still have white chocolate that we want to do as well because i'm a white chocolate fanatic and i have a feeling that i'm going to really like the white chocolate but you never know milk chocolate covered pieces in the freezer so they're in the freezer right now we and we stuck this back in the freezer while we were yes, melting this yes so we took um we took the pieces of 
peanut butter roll off the parchment paper and put them on a plate to so that they would stay frozen and it's easier to dip if you do it this way and so we um, heated the white chocolate up the morsels and so now we're going to dip those in and uh, like i said this is the first time we've ever done this so, so i'm thinking too if you didn't want to use uh like uh the dessert topping the mixed nuts you could use sprinkles like if you had some colorful uh sprinkles or, um if you wanted to make it festive and really colorful you could do that um, and it would be really pretty but i do like doing half of it that way too you have something to to pick it up with. You know, aside to an end, you can pick it up with. Your whole finger is not gonna get um, stuck in chocolate. I'm very excited to try these, but let me tell you, you don't want to make these on a warm day because you need you need to store them if you're going to dip them in chocolate you need to plan on storing it in the refrigerator which we always store peanut butter roll in the refrigerator anyway we like so it cold. we like it cold and, and it's cream cheese right so <laughs> you want to i love to store it in a tin because a tin stays really really cold um so there's nothing better than pulling that cold tin out of the refrigerator and, and having it that way but now we've had these back and forth in in and out of the freezer because the chocolate will start to melt so mm -hmm. we're wondering if maybe almond bark wouldn't be better probably or you can add some uh, paraffin like the wax to the chocolate and it would it would help too i'm gonna try the white first and uh mine that has nuts on you it you want to split one uh sure that way we can try it with and without yeah. that's one thing if i get a whole one i'm not going to want to eat a whole another one mm. i got with the peanuts and the white chocolate i do too the white chocolate adds a lot of sweetness to it, too. Yes, it does. Not that they weren't already sweet. Mm, I like that. I love the addition of the peanuts, and they're yeah. salty. See, I don't mind. I like doing these with the crunchy peanuts anyway. With crunchy peanut butter. That is absolutely... I've, I've, um, I don't think you've ever made peanut butter roll with I know crunchy. my mom used to make it with, with crunchy. And that way you get, the, um, you get all the texture from the peanuts. I tell you what, white mm, chocolate. That is incredible with the white chocolate mm -hmm. because white chocolate is so sweet anyway, and adding that to that peanut butter roll—that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that is a five out of five all day long. Now, it does diminish the flavor of the peanut butter just a little bit. It does. Uh, now this is completely covered. Yeah. Yeah, and this is just a regular like milk chocolate. <laughs> you know, that's good milk chocolate, but honestly, I don't taste the peanut butter anymore. Mm -mm. It completely covered up the flavor of the peanut butter. Let me try one. Um, I'll tell you what though, I like the saltiness of it with the peanuts in there. Mm -hmm. We even said, if we had, um, if we could, we could have uh, sprinkled sea salt on some of these. Mm-hmm. We didn't think about it. The milk chocolate is, is delicious. Mm-hmm. But you could have that on anything. It, it does not taste like peanut butter roll. No, it really, it really diminishes the peanut butter flavor. It's it amazing. completely covered up the peanut butter mm -hmm. to where... It's not even peanut butter roll anymore. So think about how strong the peanut butter has to be in, in these desserts and candy bars and stuff that have a peanut butter and chocolate flavor, like yes. a Reese's cup. Yes. Think about how strong that peanut butter has to be to, to have, overcome the yes. milk chocolate. Yeah, that just shows you how strong a Reese's peanut butter is. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm telling you. They're good. It, I do like the chocolate, mm -hmm. but uh, but the white chocolate is better. The white is, that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And now that we've done this, I would recommend almond bark. Yeah. I would buy almond bark 
I would still plan on putting it in the refrigerator, uh, in the freezer and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, I like the half dip. I do. I do too. I like doing the half dip. That way you can pick it up. You can mm -hmm. pick it up and hold it by this end. And you still got just the regular peanut butter roll at the end if you want just the peanut butter roll. Yeah, so I would do it a half dip. If you do peanuts, it's absolutely phenomenal because yeah. you get the salty. You can take your little sea salt and sprinkle on there. You, if you could, want to. but I would totally do the white and not do milk because, like I said, it completely covers yes, up the flavor of that peanut butter, and you might as well not be doing peanut butter raw. No, it is good though. It's delicious. Yeah, oh yeah, it's delicious. You you you, and you can't mess it up. Uh, just know that once when you're working with it if it starts to get to room temperature it's going to be very hard to dip it to fall apart. so you need to stop put it in the, the freezer for a while put the pieces in the freezer and let them freeze for maybe five minutes and then pull them back or out. have a helper like like we didn't think about it we could have left we could have just pulled out like five or six pieces out of the freezer dip those we and when have. i'm getting down to the last one you could have gotten four or five more we could have. Over, yeah and that way they would have always been frozen and right. never have gotten soft at all right. so anyway well thanks to, live and learn now you know <laughs> yeah thanks to esther price and joshua for sending us those chocolates because that is where this idea came mm -hmm. from because i would have never thought to take something that's already so delicious and add more to it so it just made it that much even mm -hmm. better yeah. so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching